Hello, everybody. My name is Ben Gothard, founder and CEO of Gothard Enterprises and author of CEO at 20 here. So today, I want to talk about Facebook ads. In particular, I want to talk about scaling them up. You know, once you have set up an ad and you're starting to see some positive results, you have positive ROI, meaning you put in a dollar and you get back more than a dollar to the point that you're you're happy with that. How do you ramp that up? How do you scale that up? How do you say instead of doing this for five dollars and getting out six, how can I do this for five hundred thousand dollars and get six hundred thousand dollars out? So you see the concept. Uh, I'm actually going to jump into my computer screen and show you my opinion and my strategy for scaling up some Facebook ads. See you in a bit. All right, so now we're inside of my computer screen, and we're going to talk about exactly what you need to do in order to scale your advertisements. Okay, rule number one, or step number one, whatever, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. If you have an ad that is making you money, scale it. If you have an ad that is not making you money, do not scale it. So the first step is to find a profitable ad, okay? If this ad is making me money and I'm spending $5 a day, then I want to continue doing exactly what it is this ad is doing, okay? And I want to scale this up. But if this ad is not making me money, then I want to stop it immediately because I do not want to be losing money, okay? So I'm assuming that if you're trying to scale an ad, it's because it is profitable for you. It's because it's making you money, okay? So what do you do in order to scale? Well, first, you absolutely want to leave the ad alone, okay? The ad that is making you money, you want to leave it alone. Do not touch it. Do not change anything. Do not even think about changing anything, okay? Leave it alone. It's making you money. Do not mess with it. Okay, but what you want to do is create a similar ad. And so you're taking what's working and you are literally duplicating it. Okay, now the thing that you might want to change in your ad set is the budget. Let's say you're running with a $5 budget and that ad that was running on a $5 budget was profitable. Do a $10 budget. Keep everything else the same except double the budget. If it continues to make you money, double it again and double it again and keep doubling it until you stop making money. And if you keep doubling it and you keep making money, there's no reason for you to stop. Continuously do that until the ad is not profitable. Okay? Now, eventually, you will probably run out of people to target with that existing ad set. The, the audience that you create, eventually you will saturate that, they will have seen your ad, and it will no longer convert. Okay. So what you want to do is, you want to go and take that ad, and, and take that audience, and you want to create a look-alike audience. Okay, so come up here, go to audiences, and you want to create a look-alike audience. Okay, so let's just say, for example, um, the scarf lovers audience. This audience is making me money. Then I'll go to create audience, create a look-alike audience based on you know something, some one of my audiences, and and I will have I will have created that audience, a custom audience based on whatever's making me money. Okay, so if you're using a pixel and you, you're tracking your conversions, then you want to use that and create a custom audience. If you have a page and the people on the page are converting really well, then you want to create a look like audience based on that. So you take an audience and you choose a source. So let's just say I want to choose um, I want to choose an email list, or I want to choose Gothard Enterprises, and I want to choose the United States. Okay, so then what I want to do is 
I want to go down here to advanced options. And I want to create an I want to create multiple audiences with diff different look-like audiences. So this is 1% similarity, 1 to 2% similarity, and 2 to 5% similarity. Okay? You can change the number of audiences that you do. And if you have the capital, I would do as many as you possibly could. And spread them out. Make sure it's it's even and you're, and you're hitting the market that you want to hit. But essentially what you want to do is you want to create all these look-like audiences. And these look like audiences, again, should be modeling the audience that is making you money. You do not want to change what's working. You want to enhance what's working. So the idea is you're finding an audience that is similar to the audience that's already working. You're creating the audience. And again, start from $5. Test that audience out. If it's profitable, double, double, double. Keep doubling. If it's not, then don't use it. Move on to the next audience. So right here, you have six different audiences to try, and you're using the same ad, the same offer, everything the same, except you're changing up the audience a little bit. You're trying to expand your reach. So let's say your original audience has 500,000 people. Well, now you're adding an extra 1.5 million. You're adding an extra 3.5 million people to then advertise to. So that's essentially how you scale you leave what's working the same you keep doubling you create you keep creating new ads and doubling the budget every time to to keep finding that profitable point you know you want to make sure that you're always in the money you're always making a profit and then once you've run out of people in that initial audience you're going to create look like audiences and you're going to rinse and repeat and all the while, you're keeping most things the same. You're keeping your ad the same, your copy the same, your text the same, your image the same. Everything's being kept the same, except you're changing your budget and you're changing your audience. And that is how you scale. So we've talked a little bit about scaling your Facebook advertisements. Now, clearly, my method is not the only method to do it and my method may or may not be the best, but that's how I do it, and that's how I like to recommend other people do it. Now, if you are familiar with the Facebook Pixel, that is a very powerful tool when creating, when creating your custom audience because everybody that either purchases or accepts your offer or subscribes, those people are being tracked by your Facebook Pixel if you have it set up correctly, and you can create a custom audience based on that data, based on the people that accept your offer or the people that buy your product, and you can create a look-like audience based off of those people. Those are the people that you want to be targeting, the people that vote for you with their wallet. Okay, So the idea of scaling, just once again, you're taking, you're taking what's working, you're duplicating the ad, increasing the budget, and you keep doing that, doing that, doing that. So you might have seven ads running at the same time. If all those ads are making you money, keep them going. Do not change something if it's making you money. Only enhance it. Okay? So you're, you're, you're enhancing what you're doing. And then once you've saturated that market, you're creating look-like audiences based on the audience that is originally making you money. Okay? It may or may not work the first time. It may or may not work the second time. But if you keep testing all these different audiences at different budgets, then eventually you're going to find the audience that is the most similar to the original audience, and you're going to continue making money. Okay. Now, once you've saturated all of these all of these markets, then you can go back to the original audience and just keep keep going through the same cycle because. The people that you advertise to in the beginning might not be the people that you advertise to later on. And so then the people in the beginning, beginning will forget, you know, that if your ad's not being shown to them regularly, they're gonna do, it's going to go out of, their, out of their mind, and then you can advertise to them again, and it'll be fresh. So when you're scaling, the most important thing is do not stop something that is already working. I cannot stress that enough, okay? So there is also no real rules here. You can really do whatever you want. So I encourage you to try your own strategy and, and go look up other YouTube videos. There are plenty of people who are way smarter and way better at this than I am.
Okay, so I encourage you to go look and go learn and take bits and pieces from everybody, synthesize your own strategy, and dominate. I mean, you can do this. Scaling, when you first hear the word scaling, you're like, oh my goodness, what is this? It's simply increasing the volume of what you're already doing. So you're taking what's working and you're enhancing it, you're enhancing it, you're enhancing it, right? If you're selling one basketball a day and it's working, maybe 100 basketballs a day will work even better. You never really know. So again, don't just stop at this resource, okay? This is a resource for you, and this is this is the resource that I use for myself. I'm sharing with you my strategy. But my strategy is not what everybody else does. Everybody has their own strategy. So go learn from everybody. Go learn from, from this person. Go learn from that person. Again, take the best of what everybody's doing, the things that make the most sense to you, and try it, experiment, test it. You never know what's gonna work, okay? I can't predict the market. You can't predict the market, okay? The only way to know is to test it, is to go and try these different ads, build these different audiences, make all these different experiments that you're doing in order to figure out what's working. And once it's working, stick with it, enhance it. Don't stop doing what's already working. So I hope this video has been helpful to you if somebody that you know could also benefit from the information that I've presented to you in this video, please share it with them. You know, uh, I want to try to help as many people as possible. That's the whole point of this YouTube channel. Uh, I think that's also a big, very big part of being an entrepreneur. So share with people that that need it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, um, I'd I'd like to. You know, ask you to consider throwing a like and, and maybe telling me what you did like about it and, and even if you didn't like it, tell me what you didn't like about it in the comments below. You know, I really do appreciate your feedback. And if you really did like it and you like the information, um, you, know, you, you wanna see more, um, then there's a little subscribe button down there that you can press and um, then all my videos will pop up uh, in, your, in your feed and you can be one of the first ones to see it. So, Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.